alaikum everyone. Hope you all are having a good day. Samubarik was also having a good day, right? Hello. Okay, so how is your Ramadan going? Probably it will going good. Uh, Alhamdulillah. Okay, so this video is about the 10 or 8 most asked questions that you do in interview. Right, sir? Yeah, right. Actually, yes. uh, uh, I'm kind of more terrified today because I am an interviewee uh, or a candidate and Ms. Shibla, she's going to be an employer or a boss. Yes. She's going to be super strict with me. Let me see that how strict does she become with me. Here. Yes. And I am going to ask questions that has been, you know, uh, that are very common basically. Yeah, and frequently, frequently asked, asked yes. questions or frequently asked yeah, questions randomly by, asked, mostly asked yes, questions. Yes. So I am going to ask questions uh, to Sir Mubarak Ali. First of all, can you please say hello to my viewers? Hello everyone and I say hello to you. Okay. So uh, the first question is uh, uh, like introduce yourself. This is the very most asked question uh, in an interview. Uh, it is the basically first like you don't know the person basically and you asked about uh, asked him to basically uh, in introduce, introduce him or herself. Yes. Right? Yes. So the so very first question yeah indeed this is the first question when it comes yes. to this you are supposed to mention four things in that, okay? okay? If 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 you have some space available to talk more, first of all, your personal background. You shall also okay. talk about your academic background. You shall also talk about your professional background. And most importantly, when it comes to your future plans or future aims, or it is also said where you see yourself after yes. five, ten years, so five it can be part years. of it. So th that is the thing which you have to tell. So uh, I am starting it formally. Uh, hi there, my name is Muhammad Mubarak Ali Khan and I'm double MA and Phil Linguistics. Uh, about my academic background and uh, when I talk about my professional background, I am working at uh, NAMUL as a Master Trainer of IELTS. As well as I am the one who had been working into different universities, for example, Islamic University, Foundation University, or I had been working with different colleges too. About my future plans, I want to pursue my PhD, inshallah, uh, sooner. I guess that's pretty much about myself. Okay, that's how you do it. Okay, so the second question, come to the next part. So uh, the second question that has been really, uh, not really, basically, it is commonly also asked. So uh, why do you want this job? This is the question. This is the most important part. And in that, you have to show the dire need of getting that job. You don't have to tell the that I have had been working there, 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 there. If you give me the job, I'm happy. If you don't give me the job, I'm happy. No. You have to show that I am the one who is super needy for this job. Yeah. So how would you do that? Uh, can you please say the question again? So the second question was, why do you want this job? Well, as far as this job is concerned, uh, I guess there are three basic reasons I want to have it. First of all, your institute is most prestigious institute uh, in the capital. So okay. I wish to be part of this prestigious institute, first of all. Okay. Secondly, I have been studying myself over here. So teaching in the same organization or working in the same organization okay. would be a plus to my profile uh, because I have been... Uh, learning from here too and most importantly uh, I have heard about the salaries and the bonuses and such policies for example different facilities you provide to the yes. students and to the faculty so I guess that makes it my first choice over here okay very well done sir Mubarak thank you very much you can okay. pack my bag so uh, the next question that is also uh, asked by the interviewer is that why should we hire you uh, over here, you have to mention your qualities and you have to speak it out loud. You can saying, also tell your skills as well. Yes, 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 these are part of your qualities basically, yes. okay? So, uh, the question is, can you please come again with the question? Yes, why should we hire you? Um, uh, you see, I, I have seen there are many candidates waiting outside there and I won't be telling that I am the best of them. Yes. But when it comes to some extra hours, yeah. When it comes to uh, coming here on the weekends when I'm required, when it comes to giving my loyalties, then giving my skills only, so I am the best in that. Yes. Uh, I fulfill the basic requirements basically as well as I have a cherry on the cake and that is basically I am living here in the same city. So mm -hmm. I don't have to go to my villages uh, on and off. So yes. I don't have to say that in this time I'm going to my village, I'm not able to come to the institute or something, so this thing will never happen in my case. Yes. Uh, secondly, uh, if you require some kind of organizational, some activities, mm -hmm. for example, some academic activities, I'm very good at that. For example, arranging farewell parties, 
uh, arranging some recreational trips. So I am mm -hmm. the one who had been doing it. I have very good links uh, with different areas. So I guess that, that adds more into my profile. Yes. And I am a very good discipline. Uh, that is in basically the uh, plus point in that. It is. In your profile. And, uh, yeah. And for example, when it comes to youth, it is so difficult to take care of them basically. Yes. So I am the one who had been serving as discipline in charge myself. Okay. So I guess I just raise one of my eyebrows and students get aligned with the line. So this That's is my right. aura. Wow. That's the thing. Thanks. Okay, so uh, the next question is uh, which I would like to ask you is that what are your goals, life goals? What are what are your future plans? You know, when I was a student myself, uh, one of my teachers I remember he was kind of mimicking one of the interviews, and he said, okay. "If such thing will happen to you in your life, so this would be the best answer which I'm giving right now." Okay. His name is Mr. Raja, and we're one of my teacher. Okay. He said that if you want to become a teacher, as I'm a teacher right okay. now, so if you want to become a teacher, make sure that any candidate or any person, whenever he thinks about any problem mm -hmm. associated with your course, okay. he shall associate you with that. Oh. For example, he's not good at, for example, IELTS, so he mm. gets no okay, Sir Mubarak is the one who takes care of it. Yes. If he wishes to go to UK, so he gets no okay, Sir Mubarak is the one who takes care of the SOPs and visa filing, etc. Yes. So this is what I want to become. This is my future plan. Alhamdulillah, things are going good with me right now, but I guess hmm. if I can uh, prove my skills even more, okay. it would be more louder in the society. Okay. That's very nice of you, sir. Thank you very to much. Answer all these questions. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the next question is: uh, uh, I would like to ask that. What are your weaknesses? Well, that it's a very have, tricky you know, question, you know. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Telling about is. the weaknesses. I am a very emotional person. Okay. At times, I become more emotional than required. For example, I go extra mile with a student. Okay. And at times, it was tro uh, troublesome for me too. For example, one of the students, he was reg not regular in the class. So I, as a university teacher, I called his parents, well, well this is what we don't do. Yes. But I showed my concern that he is not coming, etc, 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 and the parents had separation. And yes. the baby was in severe trouble, oh. not the baby, but the kid or okay. the, uh, the child. Uh, so there I got to know that I should not become over emotional or extra emotionally attached. So I, de I tried detaching myself, okay. but it is still a weakness that I am a kind of emotional person. So I get emotional, okay. I try going extra mile which may tell upon my performance sometimes. Okay, so uh, regarding this question, yeah. uh, I would like to you know add one further question. Yes, please. Okay. Uh, do you think that your weakness will affect your job? As far as my job is concerned, I guess when it comes to job hours, when it comes to my regular SOPs, the standard operating procedures, when it comes to my regular attendance, when it comes to my chores, etc., which I do regularly, it will not. Okay. But at times, let me be honest with you, mm -hmm. once you are super emotional, so your colleagues sometimes feel that this person is kind of getting more chubby or more attached yes. as he is not required. Over okay. there, I have my doubts. Okay. It has never happened before, but let me be honest with you, so okay. you because you're going to be my boss. Mm -hmm. So I have to make it sure that you know what kind of personality traits do I have. Do I have? Otherwise, yes. I'll make That's it sure okay. that it does not uh, disturb my regular working hours yes. or my, my job. Okay, that's the good thing. Okay, so uh, contrary to this question, what mm -hmm. are your strengths basically? What are your basically strengths? Well, you, this is a very have? good question and yeah. uh, in that, I guess if I could have time for speaking an hour, I could have spoken on that. Okay. Um, my strengths, my skills first of all, yes. as for strength, as for skill, uh, I can assure it if even a single student will come to your office to, to say that this person is not doing his job very well okay. or killing the time or wasting the time or something like that. Yes. Uh, that would be probably my last day. You won't have to fire me. I'll be resigning myself. So okay. this I can assure first of all. Okay. When I am in the class and I am physically, mentally, uh, uh, in all the manners I am in the class. Yes. But when it comes to uh, the other thing, for example, I said recreational trips, etc. So the language teachers have a style and aura in which students get more attracted or attached with them. Okay. So yeah, uh, I'm good at that. I'm good at leadership skills, for example, if you give me some tasks like a coordinator maybe in the, in the, in the future. Or if you want me to speak in front of 5,000 people, you want me to speak in front of 10 cameras, 20 cameras, in the mic, etc. That is my skill. I am very good at that. Basically, okay. I got the king skill, which is communication skill. That okay. is my strength. Yes. So basically, it uh, does really uh, have a positive impact, communication skills, right? Yeah, that's it. It does have the, the positive impact on the people. 
and uh, the examiner as well or the interviewer. Yeah. Okay, so uh, I would like to uh, ask another question which is also very important while you, you know, went for any job in uh, etc. Interview, so, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, how was your past experiences with the previous organization? How was your experiences with that? Yeah, over here they also ask such question, I guess, that why are you leaving the previous job? Yes. This is also one of it. So yes. yeah, that is the yes. case. Uh, my past experiences have been super good, okay. uh, superb I would say, uh, because I'm the person who likes learning new things, likes uh, inquiring new things, I'm a very inquisitive kind of person. When it, uh, whenever it comes to a kind of boredom, I do read books sometimes or whatever comes its way. Okay. My job experiences had been marvelous, I had okay. been enjoying and the real reason that why I'm leaving the job because I am leaving the city. Okay. Um, and uh, I have s something going on in my, my family so I have to shift near to my parents now uh, okay. I have made my own house alhamdulillah so I'll be shifting near to them and uh, yeah that is why I'm leaving the last job and okay. I'm joining this from I'm trying to join this one okay so uh, another thing is that I want to ask uh, it is not a question basically so um, do you think that uh, we should you know uh, give positive impact or positive vibe to the interviewer while if you ask the question uh, the interviewer uh, basically asked mm -hmm. the question about your past experiences what oh, do you yeah. think that we should give the positive impact or positive vibe to the interviewer first or the negative one uh, ma'am uh, if i will be giving a negative impact so yes. my present will become my past ones yes they will say if he this person is coming to us talking about bad about the previous institute, so yes. he'll be doing the same with us too. Yes. So once that's you be, you true. know, this is what we call professional courtesy, no matter whatsoever happens. Yes. It's a fallacy that you give negative impacts. Yes. So the good thing could have been or should be basically that you give positive impacts and yes. talk about the problems that everyone has. Okay. okay, so I talked about my problem with the family and I did not put any of the blames or accusation onto the previous jobs I had been doing, no okay. matter how that was. So talking about that positive and giving the positive vibes of the previous institute tell that he will become our brand ambassador. Okay. He will be talking high about us no matter how do we deal with him. Okay. So I guess and about the positive vibes again, you mm. must keep smiling, you must keep talking in a way that yes. person feels that he got the charm of speaking, uh, yes. I guess. So I'm not that properly dressed up for uh, the interview uh, as uh, uh, I'm in interested more into giving the yes. tips and techniques and the clues and the questions and answers yes. as compared with my outlook. Mm. But yes, be comfortable in whatever you are wearing and uh, it's good yes. to be formal in the interviews. It yes. tells you about your personality. You should be more. formal. Yes. Yeah, that's the case. Okay. That's mm -hmm. the plus point. Point, I guess in if you are giving the interview yeah I could have worn a waistcoat or something to make yes. it more formal but <laughs> I'm afraid I couldn't okay all right do you okay. have more questions yes one more question okay. the uh, last but not least the what don't they don't say that it's about salary Okay. <laughs> is it that, about salary? Yes, yes, that oh was my, my question. That okay. was the last, last question. You know. Well, the most important question I must say. Everything yes. went well and then they ask about salary and then they want you to talk about it. Okay. Yes. Uh, you know, when someone asks me like that, it, it does not happen as you know in the government institutes yes, uh, when they have their yes. BPS scales or FPS scales or some scales. Mm -hmm. There is, it's not the case, but when it comes to some private institute, this is the most important part and they're more reluctant to talk about it. Yes. Uh, but you should know it well in time because you have to leave one job, you have to reach next job. Yes. So it must be clarified. Well ma'am, uh, let me answer this question. Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, thank you very much, first of all, for uh, interviewing me, Ms. Shibra. Okay. When it comes to the last question you have asked, mm -hmm. I would rather leave it on to the organization okay. to judge it, my abilities and my skills. Okay. And based upon that, I must make it sure that I have a family to take care of. Yes. Also, I have a car through which is almost uh, 20 miles from my house to this, a regular voyage. Okay. So I have to take care of the petrol, etc. Yes. So I understand and I leave it on to my honorable organization that they will be taking care of my way okay. by the way what normally do you guys give to the instructors uh, basically we do. sorry to cut you okay. this is the best way basically okay uh, if you start speaking and maybe you say I would like to have one lakh rupee mm -hmm. uh, rupees and uh, the organization for example was offering 150 
maybe yes, it can be. or 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 you you said i would like to have 35 because i was earning 30 before maybe your organization wishes yes. to give you one more so it's yes. good that you ask about it yes you uh, first ask the question and leave it to the leave. organization yes, uh, talk about that. the problems and the uh, the things you are up to for example i talked about my family that i have to take care of them mm -hmm. i talked about my car and petroleum etc so they got no okay this person is responsible person for yes. many things yes so this thing this is a good thing i guess yes. so um, you 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 would like to say that what do you offer to the candidates? Uh, like yes, basically, if I said that I offer uh, like forty-five or fifty okay. to the language instructors, right, so right. yeah, you will be given like forty-five. Okay. May I get yes. to know again that uh, what is the highest paid so far? For example, someone who had been working with you for seven, eight, ten years. Yes. So what is he getting? It depends on the experience. Like yeah. uh, if you are working here for uh, for the like past six to seven years mm -hmm. with us. So uh, there is a basically increment that has been given to you. Uh, it uh, includes like uh, one uh, after one year, you will be your basically salary will be increased. Okay. okay yes. Okay. So that is the thing. So if I talk about like uh, the final uh, salary that we give to the uh, language instructor is fifty five. Oh right. Yes. Fine. So what would you what say? What if I say, Mr. Bra, that I had been earning sixty before, okay. and as I told you that I'm double MA M Phil linguistic with yes. my certification from British Council in Cambridge. Yes. Okay. Uh, I guess it makes me different than others. And once you'll be yes. watching me working, mm -hmm. um, don't mind that. But this is the time in, in which we have to discuss such yes. things. Yes. Otherwise, I guess it won't be that way. Yeah. So. I'll be leaving it to your justice, okay? Okay. And would be waiting if you could enhance it somehow so that I could be more happy because it's my, uh, it's kind of positive reinforcement to me. Yes. Right? Okay. Okay. Inshallah, we will let you know. Okay. So okay. you will call me. That means. Yes, I will text you. All right. Yes, Inshallah. Thank you very much for your time, ma'am. Yes. Thank you so much, Sir Mubarak, for uh, answering all of my questions that are uh, you know most commonly questions that have been asked in the interview. So thank you so much for thank you very much. Uh, thank, you. thank you very much. Thank, thank you for listening. Thank you, sir, well. for listening as well. And if you have any questions, yeah. you can comment below. And you have to subscribe right now, Lingua Testic people. Bye bye. Yes. Allah Hafiz.